Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here and today we are gonna test the Kaspersky Antivirus versus the Petya Ransomware. So without any further ado, let's get straight into our first test. Also guys, this video is sponsored by Provider VPN. More of that in a minute. Ok guys, so the first test is gonna be with all the protections on and ok, as you guys can see, the Kaspersky antivirus has detected and stopped the Petya ransomware from running. I couldn't even run it and literally I just reactivated the Kaspersky antivirus and it literally detected the ransomware without even running it. So I guess with that we can move on into the second test. Ok guys, so the second test is gonna be with all these advanced protections off and yeah guys, I had to reactivate the... I, I had to keep the Windows Defender tab on cause otherwise it would detect. I mean the Windows Defender would detect this, ra this ransomware even though I have Kaspersky. But anyways guys, the second test as I said is gonna be with these protections off. So with that guys, let's run the ransomware, the Pedia ransomware again in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, again, the Pedia ransomware has got detected and stopped by the Kaspersky antivirus. So great job Kaspersky, now let's move on into the third test. Ok guys, so the third test is gonna be with the file antivirus protection off, as you guys usually know. So guys, this is the third test and all the protections are on, just except this one and just to be sure yeah okay so the windows defender antivirus is off so with that guys let's run the petty ransomware once again with this file antivirus protection off only in 3 2 and 1 and as we as can see once again the petty ransomware has got detected and deleted obliterated sorry about that it got terminated by the Kaspersky antivirus as we can see here. So with that guys let's get further into the final test but before we get further into the final test here is a quick word from our sponsor. Hey everyone I'm excited to take a quick break from our usual content to talk about an essential tool for your online safety and privacy. Privado VPN. I've partnered with Privado VPN to share how their suite of services can protect you while you're online. So what is Privado VPN? At its core, Privado VPN is a virtual private network designed to keep your online activities private and secure. Whether you're streaming, shopping, or just browsing, Privado VPN encrypts your data, ensuring that your personal information stays safe from hackers and prying eyes. But it's not just about privacy. Privado VPN also offers a way to access content from around the world. Ever been blocked from watching a show or accessing websites because of where you're located? With Privado VPN, you can bypass those geographic restrictions by connecting to one of their global servers, giving you access to your favorite content no matter where you are. And if that wasn't enough, Privado VPN is also rolling out their new antivirus Sentry service. This is a powerful tool designed to keep your devices safe from malware viruses and other online threats. So, not only are you securing your connection with the VPN, but you are also protecting your device with top-notch antivirus software. Now, one of the things I really appreciate about Privado VPN is how user-friendly it is. The interface is clean, simple and easy to navigate. Even if you are not tech-savvy, you'll find it super easy to connect to a server, activate a VPN or set up your antivirus protection with just a few clicks. And here's the best part, Privado VPN offers all of this at a very affordable price. In a world where online security can often feel expensive, Privado VPN provides premium services without breaking the bank. You're getting top tier privacy and security features at a price that's really accessible. So if you are serious about protecting your online privacy, keeping your devices secure and doing it all with an easy to use interface. I highly recommend checking out Privado VPN and their antivirus Sentry service. Click the link in the description below to learn more and get started today. That's it for our quick break. Thanks for sticking with me and a huge shout out to Privado VPN for partnering with us on this. Now let's get back to the video. Now that the sponsor is over, I mean the message from the sponsor. We can move on further into the final test. Ok guys, so the final test as you guys usually know, it's gonna be with all the protections off, literally all the protections off, but once I run the ransomware, I'm gonna reactivate them 
all as quick as possible, I mean as fast as I can. So with that guys, let's run the Petty Harassmer and also reactivate all the protections on in 3, 2 and 1. And now enable, now enable, come on, come on. There we go guys, there we go. So as we can see the Kaspersky Antivirus has literally de detected in the last second, it detected and stopped the Petty Harassmer from running. We are also gonna do a disinfection with the restart as well. So guys, we are gonna be back, I mean, I'm gonna be back once the disinfection is done. In the meantime, you guys can watch the whole process of disinfection. Well, not the whole process for those who are seeing this video edited. It's just gonna be this time lapse of the disinfection and the restart as well. So with that guys, I'm gonna let you watch the fast forward process of the disinfection going on. Okay guys, so I don't know if you guys have seen that, that not gonna lie, that was a very weird error, hopefully the system is fine. I didn't have enough time to read the error, but it was something about a DLL, but hopefully there is nothing too serious about that. And yeah, right now as we well as can see, it seems like the system is getting an update, I'm not even sure. I mean, I'm not sure if this is Kaspersky related or Windows related, but yeah, I guess we are gonna wait, oh never mind. okay, never mind. that's done. I guess we are gonna wait for the restart to finish and then we are gonna see the system's status, if the system is fine or not. Okay guys, so as we can see the system has finished restarting. And there we go guys, we actually have access to the system. I mean, the system is not dead, we can actually access it. I guess we are gonna do all of this, I don't know. But yeah guys, there we go, the system seems to be fine. We have access to task manager. And everything seems to be working, the calculator works. Everything seems to be fine, I'm also gonna check task manager for any potential malware running in background. Alright, let's see. And as we can see, there is no malware running in background, it seems like everything's fine with the system. So guys, as a conclusion, the Kaspersky antivirus is really great. And I really recommend it and I also had it before but now I'm not really using it anymore. Uh, I consider that it's enough for me to have the, the Windows Defender antivirus. I mean, it seems enough for me, you know, like I don't really need anything else. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was it. The Kaspersky antivirus is really great and as a conclusion, I really recommend it. And I also recommend you guys to keep all your protections on and maybe consider checking out the Privado VPN services because you know you can literally see movies and other things that you can see from your country. As an example if there is a movie which is only available in the United States you can just get that VPN and change your location to United States and then you can watch the movie. So if you guys wanna check it out and if you guys really like how it looks and how it performs you guys can download it from the link from my description you can buy either a yearly plan or either a monthly plan also there is a very huge deal that is happening right now private VPN services are pretty cheap right now so you guys should not waste any more time and you guys should download the VPN I mean buy it and also download it if you guys really like it and that's all Thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in new future videos and thanks for watching. Bye bye.